California has not been flooded by rising tide due to global warming. Reading. Never leave your car during a lightning storm. Robot ass. Even Terminators have to soak in the LA atmosphere before they commit murder. Hey, my turn. Bill Paxton is, by no stretch of the imagination, Johnny Rotten. There's no way any of these dudes wear something Arnold-sized. 12th, May, Thursday. May 12th, 1984 was a Saturday. Worst padlock ever. No way the guy we chased over chain link fences walked up some stairs. Let's just leave this assault shotgun unattended near rambling vagrants. Man from future knows what a payphone is and how to read a phone book. Blatant disregard for traffic loss. Hey, that's the same name Kyle pointed at in the phone book. What would Kyle and the Terminator have done if she wasn't in this phone book? A robot who knows his manners. This address was not in the phone book and is eerily similar to the gun store address. Once again, Sarah Connor brutally shot to death in her home this afternoon. <laughs> News reports random woman's murder within seconds of it happening. The smog in LA actually improves in the future. Fire hazard. First, I'm gonna rip the buttons off your blouse one by one. This is funny and all, but Ginger's boyfriend knows she has a roommate, right? He's just gonna launch into phone sex at the first hello? A one day pattern killer. Hmm. I hate the weird ones. Oh, this cop prefers your run-of-the-mill serial killers. No, I keep getting an answering machine. Well, we saw her check her messages a minute ago. Isn't the point of answering machines to leave messages? Especially messages that contain pertinent information, like, Hey, some crazy dude is killing people named Sarah Connor. Call us back. Also, if the police were worried that she was in danger, wouldn't the answering machine always picking up be a red flag? Send someone to her address already. Same sh I am befuddled by these newfangled answering machines. Sarah Ann Connor was pronounced dead at the scene in her Santa Monica apartment. No matter where she is, Sarah just happens to be near TVs that are playing news broadcasts about her dead namesakes. Payphone supervisor. Excessive postcodal snack. This is the terrible flaw of the find them in the phone book system. He's shooting the wrong woman. If Sarah doesn't call while he's here, he thinks the job is done and goes out to do robot cocaine and cyborg hookers to celebrate. Worst timing ever. Sarah keeps her student ID card lying around in a drawer for Terminators to find. This cyborg is a racist. Best timing ever. That's a well-placed Ford Pinto. Traffic laws go out the window again. Infiltration unit, part man, part machine. Underneath it's a hyper alloy combat chassis. A car chase is a wonderful time for exposition. Can you stop it? Instantaneous acceptance of a completely ludicrous premise. Always load your shotgun before using it as a blunt instrument to rig a car. The ever-careful Kyle Reese starts up the car before checking to see if there's a cop car with flashing lights on behind him. Despite the fact that Sarah and Kyle were looking at the Terminator's police car when they stopped, and the cops drove up immediately after, no one saw the cyborg get out of his car and run away. Also, the Terminator crashed and said, oh shit, the cops, and ran away, instead of getting out of the car, blowing away Sarah, and then running away. Also, the Terminator crashed and said, oh shit, the cops, and ran away. The 600 series had rubber skin. We spotted them easy, but these are new. They look human. Nothing dead will go. A cyborg, if it's metal, surrounded by living tissue. Oh. You're basically saying that an unfeeling, unthinking time travel device that only works with living tissue can be fooled into sending metal back in time. Most of the records were lost in the war. Skynet forgot the internet. Skynet knew almost nothing about Connor's mother. Her full name, where she lived, they just knew the city. Skynet had no records of Connor's mother, but they took a while guess and guess she was from LA just because. I'm a friend of Sierra Connor. I was told that she's here. Could I see her, please? No, can't see her. She's making a statement. This cop has almost nothing resembling an intuition. In technical terminology, he's a loon. They teach you this in your third year of criminal psychiatry courses. I suppose you know who the father is, so I won't tell him to get lost when I meet him. Or the Wait, one. I don't want to know. Writers craft a fiendishly convenient way to protect that whole free will thing. Leather jackets and soot protect humans from decades of nuclear fallout. Dogs are still racist in the future. Damn. And so are movie writers. No, I can't tell you where I am, Mom. I was told not to say. I am worried sick, dear. Okay, here's the number. Sarah blows everything because of mom worry. I gotta go. I'm sorry, I can't tell you more right now. Like where my weak spot is. Screw the end cap on. Very gently. That might have been a good thing to say before putting the explosive in her hand. Even as a war for humanity rages, there's always time for coitus. Also, Kyle f***s John's mom. A dog barking is all the proof Kyle and Sarah need to get the hell out of the Tiki Motel. Also, f***ing Sarah Connor. I guess it's possible Kyle and Sarah jumped out the back window even though there's no evidence of hasty escape, but then they'd have to have run completely around the Tiki Motel complex and hope there was someone starting their car at this exact moment and hope the Terminator hadn't already figured out they weren't in the room and gone back out to kill him. Artificially sped up footage is used to make this look much faster than it is. Advanced intelligence makes no effort to shoot out tires.
This truck driver doesn't see a human-sized shape on a well-lit road and then decides to honk his horn instead of slowing down. So traffic laws are more like guidelines? Kyle sees the hope of the human race being chased by a tanker truck and then decides to put explosives on the truck anyway. Robot bitch slap. You're terminated, Man, Sarah is extremely confident that this button she can't even see on a machine she has never worked before is going to do exactly what it ends up doing. Man, how lame to be conceived by a subordinate officer. Am I right? Who calls who sir in that relationship? Will it affect your decision to send him here, knowing that he is your father? God, a person could go crazy thinking about this. Right? I mean, isn't this a paradox of Terminator-like proportions? We're not saying we base this on the Outer Limits episode called Soldier, but we were scared enough to give him some cash and partial credit. Good day. Send a unit. There's no answer to the door, and the apartment manager's not home. Call her. I just called her. Call her again. Run, big, run for your life, get some help! Phoenix. 